Welcome to our video bulletin for Friday the 7th of August. I'm standing here in front of the Tim Temple of Neptune in Paestum in southern Italy. It was built around about 450 BC and the whole site remained in use for hundreds of years before a public health disaster caused the residents to pack up and move away. Well, back in Liverpool, the summer is with us and as ever there's plenty going on. First of all, it's as we know, it's been a great loss to us all, the death of uh, Margaret Peace and her funeral will be coming up soon. Details are available from the parish office, but of course we know that attendance at funerals is limited at the moment, so please take direction as we receive it as to those who can attend. As we move through August, we're hoping to keep track of as many of our regular worshippers as possible. So if you know you're going to be away, do let us know so that we don't start sending you lots of text messages or telephone calls to find out if you're all right. It's also a time when shielding has come to an end, so hopefully we'll be able to see a lot more of you. Outside church from this weekend, there'll be some changes in the traffic signals at St Nicholas Place, so don't be surprised if you drive to church to find something ever so slightly different to what we normally see with traffic lights. And also, of course, this weekend, the government has made the wearing of masks mandatory. I think we're all used to wearing them in church now. It's not really been a problem, so uh, please do bring your mask along. We've got others which you can pick up on the day if you need. Well, every week, of course, we use this opportunity to meet another member of the congregation. Today, Father Fergus is talking to April Manderson. April has been very kind in giving me various wine recommendations for the south of Italy. She's also been working in her professional life on a painting by uh, Simone Martini in the uh, gallery in Naples. And Simone Martini is also someone you can see in the Walker Gallery, as you see his picture showing that teenagers always had grumpy moments. Uh, I'm joined by April. April, hi, thank you so much for joining us. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, I've been coming to St Nick's now for, gosh, um, probably about six years. Um, and it's a church that I've always loved, um, obviously growing up in Liverpool, um, my, my dad uh, used to love the church and always wanted me to attend. So once I got back from university, it was the first place I headed to, um, and also the only place that Ed and I wanted to get married in, so it was a natural choice for us. <laughs> Amazing. How long have you been married now? You were, you were married at St Nick's when? We were married in 2016. 17. Oh, it's so terrible. <laughs> um, dates are kind of all very liquid in my head at the moment because my head is saturated with PhD research. <laughs> and, and, and I suppose that leads on to how you found lockdown. Presumably you spent most of it kind of mm. computer bound, writing up, doing that sort of thing. Yeah, lockdown has been probably one of the busiest periods of my life. <laughs> um, but it's been it's been quite nice actually to spend so much time at home and, and spend time together um, of course missing the church and missing family and friends but yeah it's been it's been very busy I've been, I'm at the very very end of my uh, my thesis so just a matter of days now um, so yeah so mostly mostly writing um, at the beginning of lockdown I was working for the Barber Institute of Fine Arts in Birmingham so I was working remotely um, for them via Zoom, um, planning an exhibition, which is due to go live now in November. Okay. Um, yeah, pushed back from July. So that's, that, was, that kept me busy. And yeah, a couple of other projects as well on the side. So very, very busy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, well, it's been lovely to see you uh, back in church. Obviously, you've been back now for a month, crazily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and looking forward to seeing you and celebrating with you when it's finally all yes, done. Which it will be. We will get there. April, thank you so much uh, for talking to us today. It's lovely to see you. And um, people will see you at church soon, I suppose. Yes, definitely. Hopefully this week. Amazing. Thank you. See you soon, April. Thanks. Bye. Behind me in a different part of the site now is the Temple of Ceres. 
And as you've seen in the temple before as well, this is what happens when you don't go to a place of worship. They slowly fall down. You're left with picturesque but fairly useless ruin. So please do come along to church in August so that we can keep our building and our worshipping life vibrant. And on Fridays we do look ahead to our worship, so on Sunday at 10 o'clock we've got the Parish Eucharist and if you don't quite feel able to come along yet, then it will be live streamed on our YouTube channel from 10 o'clock as well or available later in the day. And of course, as I said before, from this weekend it's mandatory to wear a mask. Here in the south of Italy, people are wearing masks in temperatures of 35 degrees, so I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday in a slightly more comfortable climate.